Hello everyone, welcome back to Anonymous World. Hope you are doing well. So in this video, I will tell you about a subdomain enumeration tool known as Sublister, and we will see example of it through a try hack me room, which is also known as Sublister. So let's get started. <laughs> So this is the github page of sublister tool. I will give you the link in description also. So first of all what is sublister? So sublister is a tool which is designed in python to enumerate subdomains of websites using OSINT. It is very much used by penetrators and testers and bug hunters to gather subdomains about a mm. website. So below is, is the installation process and usage process of this sublister tool. recommended python version is python 2 or python 3 you can use any of these so let's get to the try hack me so try hack me has a room known as sublister which tells you everything about sublister you can practice it here if you want so let's quickly i will connect my open vpn of try hack me okay so now i'm connected to vpn now let's get to try hack me so reconnaissance this is the first step of a first step of hacking so there is a disclaimer given which says uh, there is a very pretty good chance that your isp which stands for internet service provider is not isn't going to like the recon activities and more, neither will most search engines so basically it's not that legal you do it when on, on only when you have, are granted the permission so task 2 is installation so there is given a github repository for sublister you can found that here which is the same link i will give you it in description also so let's copy it get clone and the link so first you set to navigate to opt directory ok let's go now we will paste our command ok so it's cloning into sublister ok it was so quick so it's done now you can see we got sublister installed ok now see the all permissions can see we have permission of read write execute now get back to the try hack me so recommended python version you can check python version by typing python hyphen hyphen version python 2.7 if i wrote python 3 then it would give me the python version of python 3 you can use any of those so okay so next step is to navigate into sublister directory we just got created okay so cd sublister okay now there are some pre-made files inside this directory so next step is to install the requirements by running pip3 install iphone r requirement.txt just copy it so quickly first we will modify it give the all permissions to chmod 777 uh, if you put a start then it will change the permission for every file present there as you can see now everyone has a read write execute permission although it was not that necessary okay installation so pips are install our requirement.txt again i will copy that in case it didn't got copied last time just paste it here okay so requirements are already satisfied now we can use our sublister tool on its github page you can find the command to run sublister task 3 switchboard So here you can see uses of 
or sub lister how you in basically the command how you can use it so python 3 sub lister dot py hyphen h if python 2 doesn't work you can 3 if 3 doesn't work you can use 2 so hyphen h is the help option for sub lister tool you can see there are many flags which can use during this tool ports, verbos, threads, engines, output, domain so our next task is based on this switch only uh, it asks which switch can we use to set our target domain so here it's hyphen d it is used to set the target domain similarly next question is for says specifying a search engine you can see there is one hyphen e option for engines now next what switch do we use to define for an output file so for output file it's given hyphen o output now which switch allow us to set number of threads for for threads it's given hyphen t sorry for this so lastly we have which switch allows to enable brute forcing so it's hyphen beef to brute force the module so in last question they just given a task to perform a sublister scan on nbc.com download task files in in this task file the output is already given you just need to check it but we will do it from ter our terminal so let's run a sublister against nbc.com which is a large american news company so this is the command given python 3 sublister.py hyphen d for domain okay let's clear the terminal okay so python 3 is for python sublister3.py is our tool hyphen d is for specifying domain which is nbc.com and hyphen o is for specifying output file uh, it is not necessary so as you can see it is searching now in baidu yahoo google bing and many more search engines so uh, we got our output of nbc.com there are so many subdomains in of this nbc.com now you just need to find the answers to the question given here so first one was no answer needed second one is uh, email documents email domains we need to find subdomains with email which is used for sending emails so quickly you need to search here there are so many domains sorry subdomains you can see email.nbc.com you can try email if it doesn't work you need to get something else so for sending mail there is one more subdomain which is written as mail.nbc.com so we got our answer which is mail now administrative control panel which subdomain is exposed that shouldn't be of course it should be admin panel you can find it here admin.nbc.com it is exposed which shouldn't be now company blocks so it's so sim simple and straightforward it blocks are written in blocks dot and other top level domain or whatever host is you can see blog.nbc.com now development sites so likewise you can search every answer here it is www.nbc.com now uh, help desk portal help desk portal can be help contact faq you can find the, any of these if you get so here it is help.nbc.com now single sign on is a feature 
which DNS record directory associated with this feature. In the end, you can see it is written as single sign on is often written as SSO. So just find for SSO subdomain here. So here it is SSO login.nbc.com. So office work in one way DNS record might be also with this show. So the office is a show. So simply search for office, you can get it. So sublister is a very powerful tool for enumerating subdomains. It is used in pen testing and for bug hunting. Suppose you get a simple website google.com. Now you need to find other subdomains of it from where you can find vulnerability and exploit to the main websites. So let's try python 3 sublister.py hyphen d for domain google.com. I hope Google won't mind scanning it. <laughs> Don't try this on any random website. It's not legal. You can see it's searching on Baidu, Yahoo, Google. So hell lot big output. Of course it's Google. Okay, the terminal. So now let's try some other options. Mm, let's see the switch hyphen H. So let's try specifying particular engine hyphen E. So Python 3 sublister3.py hyphen D for domain google.com. And uh, then hyphen e for specifying the search engine so let's try bing if you want to give more engines you can use comma let's try bing hit enter so it's now searching only in bing it did not got any of the subdomains on bing so the output is null so that was all about sublister try it on your own on the legal websites such as testphp.wellnub.com so i will meet you in next video till then keep learning